anything I want I speak into existence Hey guys, um, so I decided to do a university Q&A when I see a lot of like people who message me and people who comment a couple of people were like asking like a couple of questions like someone asked about dorms and stuff like that and um, another person was like oh my god like I love seeing the dorms and I kind of want to know more about university because I'm planning on going there um, and so today is going to kind of be just a QA and a and a Chick-fil-A mukbang type thing I'm really really hungry so I'm ready to grub so go ahead and open up my food Good. Okay, so I get the spicy chicken sandwich because if you don't get spicy, what are you doing? What are you doing? I love Chick-fil-A chicken sandwiches, but I also really wanted to try the Popeyes, the Popeyes one. And so if y'all tried it, leave in the comments if y'all think it's good. Alright, so let's get on to these questions. That, okay, so basically I kind of looked up like what questions you should... Um, you should ask before you go to a university or things like that's basically what I asked and so the first question that I got was do students usually stay on campus on the weekends um, I've noticed that actually a lot of people don't stay which I mean you would think like more people um, would stay on campus but actually like even on Fridays like Fridays get super super like dead when you like go and walk around like super dead I love Chick-fil-A sauce so much, like it's so good. One of my friends thought I was like so dis like crazy that I put a whole Chick-fil-A packet. But like I only use one Chick-fil-A sauce and I put it on my burger, but he was like, that's too much Chick-fil-A sauce. Struggling with this Chick-fil-A sauce. Ah. Next question. Is it hard adjusting to the environment at a university? Um well, I went to Impact, so, like, I got, like, a little bit of an entrance into, like, um, college life and stuff like that. And so, like, it wasn't too big of a difference, but at the same time, I feel like you're, you're a little bit more, like, left to your own, and you kind of got to know, like, what your limit is, because, like, if you take, like, if you're taking five classes your first semester, and you've never had a college class in your life, it's going to be a big adjustment and it's going to be like difficult to try and keep up, especially if you're working like part time or whatever. Um, and so I would say just like, I would start off like your first semester, like two or three classes maybe. And then like see from there because like at Impact, we did two or like, we started off with like two classes and then went to like three or four college classes in a semester. And so we kind of were able to, like, see that for ourselves and, like, how many we could take, how many we couldn't, blah, blah, blah. Um, so it's kind of just, you, you just have to adjust to the, like, that type of, like, the educational environment. And then also when you look at, like, you know, the party scene or whatever, I think that it's not too hard to adjust to that because, like, it's just knowing, like, the people you hang around with, really, you know? And so um, I think just surrounding yourself with, like, people who kind of have like their head to the ground you know like and they're good and they know they know what they're supposed to be doing um so i would say that for sure i'm so ready to eat this sandwich mm. Mm. so the next question is what is your major um i'm actually a pre-nursing major technically right now since i'm not in the program so that's technically my major The next question is, do you miss your friends that didn't go to your same college? Um, I actually, this is one of the questions that I put up when I got from Instagram. And one of my best friends, one of my best friends actually um, asked this question. And I actually get really, really, really homesick. Like, like when I'm like looking at Twitter or whatever. And I see like, oh, they're posting or oh, like they're doing this or blah, blah, blah. It's like, dang, like I wish I could be doing that with them, you know? And so, I definitely get, like, really, really homesick, and I miss a lot of my friends. Um, but I also feel like, in a sense, um, 
I need to learn that independence, you know, like to not be, not have a bunch of like friends around or to um, learn how it is to like live on my own and kind of see like how that is and stuff. So it's a little bit like I'm homesick, but I know it's for the best, you know, and so I kind of just take it with a grain of salt, basically. How does the meal plan and housing work? So housing, basically, first of all, anytime you're a freshman, you will be required to stay on campus. I think unless you live, like, within a certain amount from the college. I think with U of Asia, it was, like, 35 miles or something like that. You have to have housing, right, if you're a freshman. And so housing, you have to get a meal plan, right? And so one of my friends goes to UNT, and so the way that his meal plan, he said, is set up is that it's for the whole year, and... It, the the meal swipes so like we have a dining hall here that y'all saw in the la in the um, homecoming week video so that dining hall you have like a certain amount of swipes depending on the meal plan you pick like I, I got the lowest one um the lowest meal plan and so I have like 90 swipes or something like that and so like for him he said those don't roll over but his dining dollars do the dining dollars do roll over. So dining dollars are going to be like Chick-fil-A, Panda Express, um, things like that. It's going to be, they're going to be like those, those things. I also have another friend and she goes to UTA and she said the same thing that her dining dollars don't, or like her swipes, she said the same thing that her swipes don't roll over, but her mail, but like her dining dollars do. But here, they tell you that nothing rolls over, not per not even into the semester, that nothing rolls over. But what I've been hearing from a couple of my friends is that you actually, they actually do roll over. So I don't know exactly. I have to like check on that and I can give you an update on that when January comes. Oh, so good. Going from like meal plan and housing and stuff like that, where is there to eat around campus? Um, so... At Lamar, we have a couple of things you can eat. We have Chick-fil-A, Panda Express, and Jason's Deli, which are going to be in the Setzer Center, like the, the student center, that um, it's kind of like a food court, basically. So that's going to be in the food court. And then there's like, there's like a barbecue place called Tiny, Tiny Something Barbecue. I've never tried it, and I really want to try it, because I heard it was good, and a lot of people say it's good. So I'm probably going to try that soon. We have a C-Store which has Papa John's in it, which is in um, one of the, the dorm halls. Like we have Gentry, Morris, Monroe, Campbell, and one other one I can't think of. Um, and so we have a C store and they have like that. And it's also like a convenience store. So they have like peanut butter, uh, milk, uh, snacks, stuff like that, that people can get there. Oh, tomorrow. Okay, so the next question, the next question, is, is a car necessary and how is public transportation like around the campus so basically I would say if you have a car you can use a car bring the car 100% um, at Lamar um, it's a little bit like different just because I feel like fortunately um, a lot of the stuff is pretty close like at UT, I know, like, when you look at, like, the whole campus, like, it's huge. It's crazy. Like, getting from one place to another can take you, like, 45 minutes. I'm but here. Usually, like, everything's kind of around a circle. Like, the dorms and then classes over here, the rec, like, you know, things like that. And so it's not too bad. Like, if you think about, like, one of the huge campuses compared to Lamar, it's not that bad. But if you're going to a huge campus, oh, for sure. For sure. You're going to want a car. If any of y'all have tried Polynesian sauce, let me know how it is. So I really want to taste the Polynesian sauce from Chick-fil-A. But I'm kind of scared to try something new. Low-key. We have a shuttle that goes um, from, like, certain buildings throughout the day. And you have, like, there's, like, an app on, um, there's an app that can tell you the bus routes and everything. And I think on the weekends, they sometimes go to, like, um... Walmart, the mall, things like that.
Let's eat some fries. Mmm. If you know me whatsoever, you know that I love fries with all of my heart. Okay, do you have any advice for financial aid? Girl, scholarships, grants, do everything you can. Apply for everything you can. That's one big thing I regret not doing, is applying for more scholarships. I applied for scholarships, but not enough, I think, in my opinion. And my mom would say the same thing. That, like, the fact that I didn't apply for scholarships is really annoying to her, and she hates it. Second, I would say make sure, make 100% sure that you do your FAFSA. Because regardless, like, you're going to get loans. You know what I'm saying? So, like, make sure you do that. Which, it's going to take some time, but you got to do it. You know? The next question is, were there any surprise costs coming to a university? Um, so, I would say, like, not exactly, like, surprise, but, like, realizing, you know, like, sometimes you just, like, if, if you forget about it. You're like, oh, okay, like, I'll remember that when it comes around. But, like, the parking pass was a big thing for a lot of people because they, like, like they're pretty expensive. I think the one here is, like, 60 bucks for the whole year. And, like, at UT, I think it's, like, 160 for a semester. So, it's, like, yeah. So, that's super expensive. Textbooks. Textbooks are a really good on amount of money, but I would say make sure you look on Amazon before you buy anything. Do you have any advice when applying for housing? Um, I would say make sure you do it as soon as you can. If you know somebody, try and room with them. Try your best to room with them. Um, because, because it's really not easy to room with someone that you've never met in your entire life. Which, I mean, it is a part of the college experience, but at the same time, like, if I could have my best friend room with me, like, I completely would. Because of the reason, like, I know that I can get along with her, you know? And if you don't get along with your roommate, it just becomes a whole hassle. And it gets really, really annoying to have to deal with that, right? So I was talking to, so, like, some girls who have roommates that they don't really talk to, they don't really know, and it just feels very uncomfortable for them, right? Because it's kind of like, okay, well, who, like, who's going to be here? Who's going to do this? Blah, 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 you know? Just so that, just that compromise is really, really hard to do. Which, I mean, you're going to have to learn to compromise with people in, like, the real world and everything, but I just feel like when you're living with someone, you'd rather, like, be comfortable with them, you know? The next question is, what are the dorms like? Like, the dorm life. You know, like, living here, how is it next, how is it, right? It's honestly really interesting because, okay, so, where I live, the dorm that I live in is, like, the freshman dorm, right? So, the freshmen are a little wild. They're a little crazy. And so, you can hear them, like, because they're pretty loud and stuff. And we do have quiet hours, so that helps a little bit in the sense of, like, noise and stuff. But, like, are they really going to listen? It's kind of just, like, if they listen, they listen. If they don't, they don't, you know? Um, the people that live next to me, they're, like, really, really loud sometimes. And so that gets really annoying. And so other than that, I think it's just, honestly, if you think about living in an apartment building... That's exactly the type of environment you're going to get. People are going to be coming home late. You're going to be coming home late. You're going to be seeing, like, the same people. You know, like, so it's kind of just like that. It's really just like that. And so, yeah, that's what I would say about that. Okay, so last question. Chick-fil-A lemonade. It just has something. I don't know what it is. It's just so good. The last question, right, it's... Um, why did you choose Lamar? For me, it was more like how far it was from home. Because I really didn't want to go that far because I'm really close to my family. And my and I love my little sister. And so, like, I don't like being away from her that long. 
Like, she calls me, we call, we text, I call my mom all the time. Like, I'm just a very, like, family-oriented person a lot of the time. And so, Lamar is honestly, it's a hidden gem. It really is. Like, it's really, really cheap. They have really, really good programs. The nursing program is great here. Um, what else? What else? Um, they have a really good communications program. The engineering program is really, really great, apparently, here. Um, so, it's just a lot of, like little things like that that made me want to come here but what really like had me set is the fact that like the dorms are so nice like okay it sounds like such a like little min minuscule thing to think about but like when i looked at other people's dorms and I, or i like looked at other colleges dorms lamar had the best ones i really really liked that that they were so nice I would say I'm not, like, going to discourage anybody, but I would also say that, like, make sure you choose your college wisely as well. Like, use some of these things that I'm talking about and kind of think, like, okay, well, this is how this is. Let me look how that is in another college. You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, Lamar's not for everybody. UT's not for everybody. a and not for everybody. Sometimes I feel like you just got to, you got to get in where you fit in. And I feel like, Colleges where you're going to, like, learn yourself. You're going to know who you are. You're going to really come into yourself. So I feel like make sure just just to enjoy it. Just live your life. Um, thank you all for watching. Um, this was my, like, mukbang q and um, I had a lot of fun. I love Chick-fil-A, so this was really fun to eat. <laughs> um, and so, y'all, make sure y'all stay tuned. Um, starting this Thursday, I'm going to be doing Halloween. I already have two of the videos filmed. And so I'm super excited for y'all to see them. Um, it's going to be a really, really fun week. So I'm super excited. Um, thank y'all so much for watching this video. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications. Um, and so, yeah. Bye. To the rhythm of my intuition. Anything I want.